This video has the fastest upgrade guide for Town Hall 13, so no matter where you are in your Town Hall 13 upgrade process, there is something in this video here for you. Many of the tips that I'm going to be giving in this video are transferable to other Town Hall levels as well, so it is beneficial to watch the entire video through. However, if you just want a specific piece of advice, I do have video chapters down below. To begin, I'm going to give you a tip that is going to be useful for players of all Town hall levels and is going to give you a really good advantage over other players and that tip is to use the clash fanatic app who is the sponsor for this video the clash fanatic app has over a hundred thousand downloads and is one of the most useful apps for clash of clans players if you ever need an army composition which all of us do then all you need to do is just go to the clash fanatic app look at your town hall level and then get the direct army composition link from there there's also a guide on how to do the attack so you can do it yourself afterwards on top of this there are also a attack and defense tips that you can use like flashcards but perhaps my favorite feature of the app is the maps feature which has updated base layouts regardless of which town hall level that you're at whether you're trophy pushing whether you're farming all you need to do is just go into the app copy the layout and then paste it right into your game all of this is for free and you don't have to spend a lot of time on youtube go ahead and click the link in the description to go ahead and download the app thank you so much clash fanatic for sponsoring this video now let's talk about weak one upgrades for Town Hall 13. You can either decide to have three heroes, which is absolutely ridiculous, three Dark Elixir heroes down, or two Dark Elixir heroes down, which is more human. The reason why having three Dark Elixir heroes down constantly is a problem is because you're going to need 1.9 million Dark Elixir in week one, and most players are not able to do that unless you got deep pockets. What I would recommend is having two Dark Elixir heroes down throughout your duration of the entire Town Hall 13, including that first week. If you do this, you should require about 100,000 Dark Elixir per day after the RC reaches level 7, which is of course a lot more reasonable. Also, if you guys want to see the full math for this, make sure to go ahead and check out T's rushing guide. It is in the description of every single one of my videos. Shout out to T, thank you so much for breaking it down for us. So that's two of your builders down. What do we do with the rest of your builders? Well, the first thing that you're going to do with your builder is put down the Dark Elixir storage because if you haven't figured it out already, we're going to need a lot of Dark Elixir throughout this process. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to hammer that CC. That is right, you just want to get it out the way. It is very, very good hammer value. The remaining three builders, assuming you have six builders, should be put down as follows. As many army camps as possible, and if you run out of army camps, then you should put them down on storages. So now let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to do after week one. Always, always, always have two dark elixir heroes down all the time. This is going to help you progress a lot faster. Work on your army camps until they're finished. Work on your storage until they're finished and if you haven't upgraded your resource collectors to the max level yet you need to be able to upgrade those they're going to make a big big difference in the long run also after the resource collectors it's important that you upgrade your barracks to the next level so you can unlock dragon riders now for defenses there are obviously priority defenses that we need to do the first few defenses that you want to be able to get out of the way are the giga inferno level 5 the eagle artillery level 4 inferno towers level 7 expos level 7 scatter shots level 2 prioritize your magic items into these items that we just spoke about if you get done with all of these defenses you can also consider doing the air defenses and the seeking air mines since you will get hit with a lot of e-drags since you are a rushed base now let's go ahead and talk about the lab buildings and the lab upgrades i know a lot of you are probably wondering should i go ahead and book my laboratory only do this when you're upgrading to the next town hall during cwl if you are not doing that is get an upgrade going in the lab and then manually upgrade it in terms of upgrading troops I would highly recommend that you upgrade your e-drags because your e-drags are probably close to the highest level that they can be if you've been following the guide so far your loons so that you can donate them and they'll help your e-drags for your war composition your sneaky goblins if they're not maxed already and your super barbarians if you use them to farm beyond this get some donation troops upgraded start working yourself towards specific army compositions if you don't know exactly what to upgrade, I would highly recommend upgrading your Rage spell, your Heal spell, and your Freeze spell since these spells will be part of many different attacks and it's gonna be valuable for you to go ahead and invest into them right now. So now we can get to the Town Hall 14 upgrade checklist. You need to make sure that you have at least two Dark Elixir heroes that are maxed. All the upgrades that we talked about previously in the video want to make sure that you stockpile as many magic items as possible and if you have all of those things done, well congratulations. 
congratulations, you can go to Town Hall 14, but if you're not really close to Town Hall 13 or Town Hall 14, then well, this video really doesn't do much for you. That's why you need to watch this playlist right here so that you can learn the fastest way possible to get to the higher levels of the game.